started it. <laughs> <laughs> do hey. I, I yeah. should do my room. Hey. Ah, I can do. My name is Philip Addy. I live at Marsh Farm Shetler near Huddersfield. Me and my father, Harold, run a mixed beef farm and arable farm, and we run all David Browns. I am also a David Brown enthusiast, and uh, one day I went to a farm to see a friend of mine at Penniston called Graham Oxen, and uh, he told me about a diesel crop mastery there that were for sale. <coughs> And also at this farm was David Auckland from my flats. And uh, they were talking about this tractor. And he said it was David Smith at Calicoats that had it for sale. And, um, and the registration number was KWU33. And my dad looked at me and I looked at him and my dad said, Well, I'm sure that's a tractor I used to have. My first David Brown tractor I used to have. So... We decided, it wasn't far away from where we was, so we decided to go have a look at it. So when we got there, David went about. So, when I, so I came back home, and that evening I gave him a ring. And uh, he says, yes, I have a David Brown diesel crop master for sale. And uh, I says, could I have a look at it? He says, yes, come up tomorrow afternoon, I'll be in and I'll show it you. So more to do, he goes up the day after and um, it was in a shed and the door were closed and David opened the door and as soon as my dad saw it KWU 33 he says that's my first David Brown tractor what I had bought in 1957 it's amazing that I haven't seen that tractor for 50 years so me and David come to an agreement and we did the deal and the day after I fetched it home. So that's how we come to have it. So we have now, we now run, we have 15 David Browns on our farm, right from the crop master right up to the very last commemorative 1494. I, got, I bought it in 1957. I bought it off Garden Sudworth to the field when I got it. And uh, we, run it, we run it for three years. Then I traded it in. David, Jeff Plowman from David Browns came and, and he wanted to me to swap it for a, a new 850 straight from factory. So we went on them lines and that's what we did. And he just gave me as much for tractor as I give for it when I bought it against this 850. He gave me 300 pounds from my old crop master and, and 850 was 600. Got 300 pounds to find for a new tractor. Well, first job, John, is um, to, to give it a good power wash and get all the muck and grime off it first, John. And then, uh, and then next job then is to strip all the tin work off it down to the bare chassis and uh, get the tin work all sandblasted and primed, ready for building back on the tractor. Any mechanical work that needs doing will be done. And uh, a new set of tyres all round. And then uh, we can start slowly piecing everything back together. I don't think the engine's bad, John. I think the engine will be all right. Um, the hydraulics need a bit of attention, and uh, brakes want adjusting, uh, relining, and adjusting. But uh, apart from that, mechanically, it's not too bad. It's mainly cosmetic work it needs, uh, tin work, uh, repairing, and. Uh, a uh, bit of welding here and there. Uh, it wants uh, seats recovering and uh, some wiring attending to. But uh, apart from that, John, it's not too bad. It's going to be quite a long project, this, John. Um, hopefully, um, I'll try and do it within the next 12 months. Um, it'll be done in, uh, in my spare time on bad days when it didn't fit to do anything on the farm outside. That's work on the tractor. Uh, I'm hoping within a 12 month, within 12 months it'll all be done. It's just a pity, John, if you'd have come on a nicer day, I could have got them all out for you and you could have took some better photographs. 
but you're quite welcome to come John any time throughout summer and and uh, take some photographs of them working because most of them still work for a living it's just that in winter I like to put them all away and wrap them up